Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can integrate Salesforce Cloud with LinkedIn ads for lead gen forms. So if you're running lead gen forms on LinkedIn and you want those leads to go in directly into Salesforce without using a third-party tool like Zapier, you can use the connection and go through a few steps in Salesforce to get that connected. So I'm gonna go over a quick overview on how to do that. And first off, you're gonna link your Salesforce accounts you're gonna make sure you have admin access at the account level and at the page level, the company LinkedIn page level. And then you're gonna adjust your Legion fields to make sure the fields that you have in LinkedIn map over into Salesforce. And then there's a few things I had to tweak to make it work uh, as far as turning off reCAPTCHA. And then also um, you're gonna go in and test and verify that the lead came in and all the fields are matching up properly. So to set up LinkedIn in Salesforce, you're gonna go into the advanced setup in Salesforce. So I'll go and open advanced settings. And then in the quick find here, you're gonna just type in LinkedIn and you're gonna to go to LinkedIn accounts and click that. Now I've already connected my accounts, but essentially you're just gonna to click to sign in to your LinkedIn ads accounts. And then it's gonna pull in all your accounts here. So if you see a status that says not authorized, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have admin access at the LinkedIn ads account level and also at the company page. So for a company page, you're gonna go into the company page, have an admin go in there and go into the settings section and then manage admins and then make sure page admins and paid media admins that you're um, added as an admin and a lead gen form manager. And then you can go back into your account and uh, refresh your ad accounts and it should say authorized. So from there, you're then gonna go into the lead gen fields and you're gonna map all the fields that you have on your lead gen form and make sure they map to a field into Salesforce. So you can go through um, and set the default lead creator, the lead source. If you wanna add a specific lead source to the pick list, you can do that um, under the leads object and update the fields and mapping for uh, the lead source. So just as an example, I put in uh, LinkedIn Mitchell as a pick list here. And then you're gonna map over the LinkedIn data to lead fields that you've set up in Salesforce. Um, you can do that for the standard field. So it already maps, you know, first name, last name, um, et cetera. And if you have um, any questions, you're gonna map those over questions and answers to the fields in Salesforce. And if you're using any, any hidden fields, you're gonna have to map those over as well. And the only thing that's a little odd with Salesforce and the mapping here is that you have to map both the name and the value to a different field. So what I've seen some people do in the community section, and I'll, I'll post that in the description of this video, is that they map over um, kind of a workaround is uh, they use just a generic field um, that's not gonna be used in Salesforce in the name and then the, the field that they actually want the value to map over to, they use that field in the value section. So they kind of just use a generic one for the name um, and then in the value that's the actual field that you want populated in Salesforce. So that's one workaround that some people um, did here. And I'll put that in the description so you can take a look at that. But after you get all your mapping um, set up, you're gonna click save. And then the last thing I had to do to get this to work is I typed web to lead in this section over here and you click web to lead. Um, I had to edit the settings, so I, I clicked edit and then I turned off the require reCAPTCHA verification. So that's in place if you have your forms on your website to reduce getting you know fake bogus traffic and leads coming through um, through your forms like bot traffic. So I'm not an expert in Salesforce. There might be another way to still keep on the require uh, recapture verification and get this to work. But I found in a, a community chat that that's how someone else did it. So that's how I've done it. If I find a better way, I'll put that in the, the comment section of this video or make an updated video. But for now, that's what I did to get it to work. And then from there, you're gonna just go into your LinkedIn account. You're gonna preview your Legion form. 
So you can preview your, your ad and then you can just submit a, a lead on the lead form that you, you're testing out. So you submit the lead form and then you go into your leads and make sure that you see it coming through. If you don't, you're gonna have to troubleshoot it. Um, everything I've mentioned here uh, got me to be able to submit test leads. Uh, I ha ran into a few issues and I added the, you know, took off the reCAPTCHA um, and that worked. After you submit your test lead, you should see it come in in your leads um, section. And then you're going to want to make sure all the fields that you were expecting to see are showing up in your lead details. And then from there, you should be all set. So let me know if you have any questions on that. I'll try my best to answer them. And in the future, when I do more Salesforce integrations, uh, I'll make an updated video. And thanks for watching and have a great day.